I think it's important to connect people to wildlife, to nature, to the land, because we're all part of the same system. And it's easy to forget that when you live in a city, as I do. So I make sure to get out to the park, out to nature. I like to ride horses. I have been very fortunate to be able to travel to Africa and to northern Manitoba. So I've been able to get close to wildlife. I've always been an outdoorsy person. Many children don't get that opportunity, but there's something about art and the beauty of art and nature that combined is magical. I've also written and illustrated two children's books, both related to art, um, to show children how beautiful animals are in their own environment. This painting is a picture of a Maasai man walking with his cattle. And the Maasai live a very traditional life in Kenya and Tanzania. And what I am impressed about those people is how civilization that's happening all around them hasn't changed their lifestyle at all. It's made me realize that it is possible to live a very simple life and not have a lot of drain on the resources in nature that these people don't have, and they're very happy. There's nothing about their life that's lacking. They enjoy everything they do and they don't have much. But they are closer to their environment than anybody else that I came across in Africa, in, in that part of Africa. So they, they taught me that it is possible. And we, the more we get civilized, the more we move away from understanding nature and our part in it. So reaching out to children with my children's books, I'm hoping that that has some effect on them. And the feedback I get from teachers and schools is that they do appreciate animals more when they read about them, when they see beautiful artwork and the pictures. They want to study them more and learn more about them.